What you got? The Night Before Christmas. Will you read it? Yeah, sure. Come on. It was the night before Christmas. How would you like to hear another version? It was the night before Christmas, and a beautiful young girl and a devoted carpenter had been traveling to the devoted carpenter's hometown. Now the beautiful young girl was about to have a baby, and the devoted carpenter was her new husband. And she had been riding on the back of a donkey for three days and three nights. And she was so tired she could barely hold her head up. When they got to the devoted carpenter's hometown, there was no place for them to stay. Now back then, there weren't hotels on every corner. So the devoted carpenter remembered a place where the animals stayed. Now it wasn't clean. It wasn't even made for people. But it was the best they had. So the devoted carpenter took the beautiful young girl and made her a soft place in the hay, right next to a mother goat and her three little ones. While the beautiful young girl laid there, she knew it was time. Her baby was about to be born, right there, in that place where the animals stayed. Now not far from there, some sheep herders were working in the fields, making sure that none of their sheep wandered off so they'd all be ready to move out when morning came. While the sheep herders were sitting on the hill, listening to the silence of the countryside, they were almost knocked over by what they saw. What did they see? It was a great angel, right in front of them, shining so bright that they almost had to look away, but they just couldn't. And chills ran down the sheep herders' spines when the great angel began to speak. What did the great angel say? The great angel said, don't be afraid because I'm here to tell you something amazing. Right now, in a little town not far from here, God has come down to earth for a visit. And the sheep herders couldn't believe their ears. God, the one who made the universe and everything in it, down here? And a great angel said, yes. And unbelievable as it seems, tonight, God is a baby. And he's lying in a trough in a place where the animals stay. And he's come here to give everyone in the world a gift. And after tonight, the world will never be the same again. And when the great angel said that, the sky was suddenly filled with great angels. Too many for the sheep herders to count. And the lights were so bright, it looked like the moon had exploded. And the great angels were all singing, like a giant rock concert in the sky. And the great angels sang, with the volume turned all the way up. It's time to celebrate because God has come to earth for a visit, because God can do anything. And after tonight, the world will never be the same again. Back in the carpenter's hometown, the baby that was God come to earth for a visit lay fast asleep in the beautiful young girl's arms. And the cows he created watched him sleep. And up in the rafters, the doves he had covered with feathers watched him sleep. And the donkey he made watched him sleep. And sitting close by, the devoted carpenter watched him sleep as he wiped the beads of sweat from the beautiful young girl's cheek. And the carpenter thought to himself how the world would never be the same again because God had come down for a visit.